Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I've got my dad here again today to help me out with vaping the Mach 1 by USV. Now, it says Mach 1, right, with the backwards 3. So is it Mach on 3? Is it Mach 1 3? Am I saying this wrong? You guys decide. See? Mach 1. But it's a 3. I don't know, but Mach 1's <laughs> way cool. Is that the like the old Mustang, the Mach 1 was awesome. Oh, is that maybe what it's like here? I towards? think so. Well, yeah, because it kind of has that tough look to it and stuff. I don't know, it's not really looking like a car, but how do you make a mod look like a car? So before he takes some hits off this, let's dive down close. I'll show you what comes in the kit. It's pretty awesome and how to work the mod. All right, here's the packaging for the Mach 1 dual battery squonker box. On the back, it does have the package contents, a little bit about the company and where to find them online, and a warning. Here it is. The mod looks very nice. And over here, we have a box. And inside that box, we have a micro USB to USB cord, some tools, some posts, and some extra O-rings for building, and a little jar of pre-made coils with the United Society of Vape stamped on top. And underneath the mod in the box, we have some paperwork. We have a Mach 1 card and how to stay connected with the company, a limited warranty card for your Mach 1, and a user's manual. All right, so here is the Mach 1. This is actually a pretty hefty mod. We have the fire button here. I'm gonna pull this off to reveal the screen, the up and down regulatory buttons, and a micro USB port. On the side it does say Mach 1, here on the back you can see the squonk part of the mod, and on the side it does say Mach 1. On the bottom we do have a hinging lock battery door, and the two chambers for the batteries. You can see it says plus and minus for which direction your battery will go, plus down in there you can see plus and minus as well. At the top we do have the USV Mach 1 RDA sitting on top of it on a centered 510 take this off to show you guys the connection. It does say Mach 1 here. The Mach 1 RDA is a dual post design with a super deep juice well, spacious build area that accommodates single or dual coil builds, and quickly and easily adjust airflow with the twist cap design at the top. So you just twist the top part to change the type of airflow. Now the mod is 91 millimeters tall, by 54 millimeters by 35.5 millimeters. It does support two 18650 batteries as I showed earlier and the screen is a 1.3 inch TFT screen. So let's get some batteries in here. The screen does display both battery lights at the top, the output mode which is watts and the output level which is 240 right now. This does go from five to 240 watts. We also have the resistance reader down here. Okay, so it actually goes down to one which is weird because the user's manual says five to 240. Anyways, we have the watt or we have the volts over here. We have the E, N, and S modes, which is eco, normal, or sport. Below that it does read power. Below that it is there is a puff counter. The resistance range for this should be no lower than 0.1 ohm to 2 ohms. It does have power mode, bypass mode, and temp mode. It has temperature for nickel, titanium, and stainless steel. Push the fire button three times to go into the menu selection, which reads settings, lights, system off, power, temp mode, bypass mode, update because you can upgrade the firmware back to settings. So let's go into lights because that's just the kind of person I... Oh, so that changes the brightness of the screen. Obviously using the plus and minus buttons to adjust, but I'm gonna keep it at bright. Go to temp mode. Temp mode it does Celsius from 93 degrees Celsius, which I'm gonna check that because that's what the user's manual says. Oh, that looks like one degree. So the user's manual says 93, but the mod only goes to 100. And then the user's manual says up to 315. And the mod goes to, let's make sure, 315, okay. And then also 200 degrees Fahrenheit to 600 degrees Fahrenheit. Two clicks to the fire button changes it into Fahrenheit. I just want to check the Fahrenheit range, but that's a pretty standard Fahrenheit range. Yep, 200 degrees, so two clicks to the fire button to change it back to Celsius. 
and then it is back in to Celsius. And I didn't mention earlier, the 510 connection is spring loaded at the top. All right, so to get the squawk bottle out, you take off the magnetic back. There are the magnetic contacts, there are four. And you open the battery chamber and you can pull it down from this little tab. Well, and the batteries are gonna come out. There is the squonk stem. So you just pull that out. And here is the hybrid type squonk bottle. So you definitely need to change the squonk bottle without batteries in it since it does come off of the bottom. Roll away batteries, oh my God. You wanna keep it vertical the whole time you're filling and you do not wanna go past the fill line here. It does hold eight mils of e-liquid. I'm gonna fill my squonk bottle today with Cloud Kiss by yours truly because, duh, why wouldn't I? This is my strawberry cake batter flavor. You can use the code TIA20 for 20% off this bottle, 20% off this 100 mil bottle at bonsaivapors.com. I don't know how well you can see this on camera, but you can see through the squonk bottle when you hold it up to see your juice level. Mine's a about right there. I don't know if you guys can see it that well. All right, got the squonk bottle in, batteries in, magnetic backing on. Now I know this is gonna create a little bit of a mess, but I'll clean it up. But I wanted to see the squonk in action without the cotton so you guys can see it clear. Well, see, just a little press and there came the e-liquid. So just have to press on that you didn't already know. So I'll go ahead and install a coil and some cotton onto this RDA and then we'll take it back up to FaceTime to vape with it. I did want to mention this does have the industry standard 12 second cutoff timer, short circuit protection, and battery reverse polarization protection. I love me some protection features. Do you want to vape it? Well, you can't because there's no coil in there right now. So I wanted to mention to power on the device, you do click the fire button five times, but if you click the fire button five times while it's on, it will lock the device. Five clicks to unlock it. To turn it off, you do have to go into the system menu and do system off. And then it is off. And I am going to use the pre-made coils. Can I just say, I totally didn't show this part, but there was a seal, like the sealed for your protection thing on the coils. I am loving that. I'm loving everything about this kit. And I'm not even like an RDA or squonker enthusiast, but this like, they, they just set you up. Like <laughs> this is ready to go. The only thing not included is batteries. This is not a tutorial for how to build, but I got the coil in there and my thing is, I cut the leads off, no metals touching over there, no metals touching over here, and when you fire it, it heats from the inside out. And we're back. <laughs> <laughs> Movie magics. All right, so I got one coil in there. We got Cloud Kiss on it, of course. So they know it's only a one coil. Yeah, I did all that on, right. on camera already. All right, so what, 53 watts on this bad boy? So let's, let's, let's go mock. Let's go <laughs> mock speed of the mock on three. And mock is fast, right? Yeah, I think mock stands for like, it's 500 or 5,000 something. I think mock one is like 500 miles, you know? I'm not sure. You Google can Google it. it. <laughs> Google it. All right. Tell us in the comments below. We should go to 55.5. I, I mean, I, it's going really fast. Wow, that thing. Did you show them that? I might have. I did the close up a couple days ago. Yeah. It moves through the numbers fast, but it's really kind of difficult to get your special number. Fives all the way around. There's actually a Clone Wars character in Star Wars whose name is Fives. So I like it. Again. And who's calling me? Can you grab my phone so I can turn it off? <sighs> Always when the videos are on. <laughs> That's what everyone wants to call. The, phone, the, the red light comes on and the phone like sends out a notification. Everyone must call you now! Oh, and I also have one of these for a giveaway that what? I'll be giving away over on my Patreon. Oh, so I can't even get shit. <laughs> Alright, go and mock the speed of mock one on three. Woo! Hell yeah! Wow. And so this is a squonk too. Yeah. I love that freaking word. 
but I kind of messed up and I should have made the wicks a little longer. Yeah, well. Because it squonks in the middle, like it comes up in the middle. I agree, but you guys out there would probably agree after I say this, you'll probably agree too. I don't ever hit my mod like this. I'm all, I'm, you know, just just like the rest of you, I'm always tipping. Right, right. So I, I know where my coil is up in here, so I'm tipping it that way anyway. Yeah, true. Because sometimes I've seen um, squonks with the the little hole that's like right where it would need to go. Right. This one's in the middle. But right. yeah, you're right. You tip it. Yeah. <laughs> Who hits it like that? <laughs> here, let's try. Here we go. That's the only way I hit my mod. <laughs> On the level, only like this. I have to crane my neck. <laughs> no, <laughs> get a kink. Nobody does that. That is delicious. What have I got in here? My favorite. Ah, that Jason Cloud kiss. I knew it. I knew it. Hey, can I, can I show him some squonking? Can you see it? Yeah, I did earlier. Oh, it's fun. It's fun to say, and I like to do it. And I think it's convenient nice. if you're a, if you're a RDA user for sure. Oh man, squonks are fun. And they're all the rage right now for the RDA world. Oh, we just I just messed around with one with indoor smokers not too long ago, and it was it was great. It had a nice stout bottle. I I really like this. I would have liked to see the kit come with the second bottle though too. I've noticed some kits do. Yabba dabba damn cloud kisses for everyone. Go and mock one, three, on, on, three, two, one. <laughs> Stoned. <laughs> Stoned! <laughs> it's freaking a beautiful Friday. So, did it do that? Does like, it rev is up? Is that um, like your seconds counter or something? I, Cause I don't, I don't remember noticing that. Maybe it was already there. <gasps> oh it yeah. Does. You should do a close up. I will, I that. will. So it does a rev up like your RPMs would in your car. That's cool. Here, I'll try to do it so you guys can see it. Yeah. That's cool. So yeah, that's your seconds counter. It looks like a little... And that's way easier for me to see than when I have to look at the tiny little numbers with my old man eyes. <laughs> your man, grandpa. Yeah, I like this. Maybe, maybe when, maybe when you get bored with this, I should check it out. It is kind of rattly, but maybe that's the type of coil. Cause oh. it, I think it's a wow. like some sort of clapton. I forgot to squonk. <clears throat> I got a little dry at the end of that. Squonking. How fun. It's a heavy duty. Like I've seen a lot of squonk mods and that's like the heavy dutiest one I've ever I seen. I like this cause it see the bottle seems so much more protected up in there and like not just protected but protected from the fall. Cause I mean, who and, hasn't dropped their shit? Right, and look at like the, it's like a, oops, that happens. It's like a weird shaped bottle. Oh, wow. Yeah, it is. That's the, wow. Huh, that's pretty awesome. Yeah. So the Mach 1 is available on usvofficial.com. You can go check that out and all the other products they have. They did make the um, ARC 240, which I'm in love with. I did a video for that a while ago. Looks cool as hell. It's so pretty. And so I'm really impressed again with another product that they have shown me. Again, available at us official.com if you've tried this let me know down in the comments below what you think or just your thoughts in general on it but thank you so much for coming on helping me oh, yeah. that today and i will leave a link below to my dad's channel as well as all of yeah. the social media so come check, check it out, out down at the vape lounge. the vape lounge yep and our our sister <laughs> <laughs> and my sister ray is often over there too. check the description box below for important links like where to find me and my dad on other places besides youtube also i have a patreon account where i do vape related monthly rewards over there so if that's something that might interest you you can check the link below as well and one more thing before you go if vaping is something you're passionate about please learn how you can fight for your right to vape so as always i'm tia this is my dad and i'll see you in the next video bye guys Oh, you did the kiss. <laughs> I love you.